right? Look at this. Calling in your soulmate, stay optimistic. To me, this has to do with the energy. In order to call this in, you've got to really pay attention to your energy, right? Keep an open mind. How are you coming across? Yes, let go of control issues. What are we doing? Like, how are, how, what is our energy speaking? It's our energy that speaks, which is why we get certain types of people. If we're in this energy, then we're not a, a good soulmate or soulmate more whole will not align with us because there's so much control in us. So it's going to give us more. The mirror is always going to be more what we don't want. So obviously this is a read for my singles to, to, to kind of lighten up that queen of swords, king of swords energy. If you really want to find higher levels. Now, if you're already connecting with someone, obviously you're giving them a hard time. Um, maybe opening yourself up is not entirely, it doesn't mean you're not going to preserve yourself, Aries, but, you know, trust that you, you are, you trust in your ability to discern, right? Because when, when we go in that energy, it's because we don't trust ourselves, right? And too much controlling issues, it's because we don't trust ourselves to be able to discern the situation, um, if you've done, and you know, you've done a lot of work, so you've got to trust that you've discerned the situation. Here we have six of wands, right? So perseverance, I feel, harmonize, go enjoy yourself, recognize what you have persevered, give yourself the full energy, new beginning, give yourself the opportunity to open up. You've taken a lot of time out here with the fours of swords, rest and rejuvenate. Um, you've taken time, and another six, again, about balance, material, spiritual prosperity, um, it's not going to disrupt what you found balance. If you're in balance, then nothing can disrupt because you've figured out what balance is. You know, not letting your past hold you back in terms of what you're trying to create for this new beginning, right? So let's see the Six of Wands. We're going to come around the Six of Wands. Yeah, Hermit. I mean, this is like... Understand that you've come far. You've spent a lot of time alone. And, you know, this is wisdom. This is knowing that, that you've... It, it, when we get out there, just because we do this hermit energy doesn't mean we always learn everything. The true test of this hermit energy and what we've gained is how we apply it. So that dating and the getting to know and whoever you're connecting with is how you apply it. You guys could be dealing with the Virgo, the world. So here, a cycle, right? This is about knowing that you're in a new cycle. So this is a whole new chapter. You can create the world and the fool, you know, showing up here. If you hold on too tightly for pentacles to your past, it's going to be very difficult, again, that control issue for, for, for things to really look like they're moving forward. So give me more, oh my goodness, wow. Yes, four of wands, right? You can have what you want, nine of cups. You know, your cards are speaking extremely quickly, Aries. So you could have what you want. You could find the stability you want. You could find the relationship you want. You have to know yourself first. Hermit energy, again, nine of cups, all the nines, right? Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, Nine of Pentacles are all the minor arcanas to the Hermit energy. And so when we find our own emotional fulfillment, Nine of Cups, with our own stability, and that's fine. Again, knowing what you've accomplished, being positive, that you nothing's going to shake this balance, this Four of Wands, this foundation you've created. You, you, you find more security. And you lighten up your energy so you can open up, right? Keep an open mind. You can open up to a soulmate. Game around this four of swords. Again, another six. So this is a lot and Wheel of Fortune. This is a lot about really turning that leaf here. Going out, Page of Cups, right? Dating, getting to know, letting your emotions open up. Um right? Ace of Wands, going for passion, right? A, a, an energy, a soulmate. A lot of you are ready to connect. And, and you know, this is a lot of sacral energy. Ace of Wands presents, represents a lot of sacral energy. So the desire is there to connect. Um, usually when our sacral starts to activate, you know, if, if some of you are experiencing a lot of sexual energy during this hermit, like a long time, and now all of a sudden you're feeling more sensual, you're feeling more of a desire 
to want the opposite, you know, the a, a partner, right? To to intimately connect with someone. I think the wheel of fortune here is presenting that you're ready. You know, you can turn this leaf now and put yourself out there and know that you've done the work you have. So give me more of the six of pentacles. <laughs> I mean, could this reading be any more straightforward? Two of wands with the four swords again. So ten of pentacles, you know what you want. Uh, so the six of pentacles with the fool, right? We have to fool. More four. This is this is foundation with the four swords, you know, with the four of wands, but making this decision. So I just feel spirit is saying you got what it takes. Take the leap. Don't be scared. Um, don't resist the change. Let go of the control issues. Trust your ability to discern Aries. You've come a long way. And of course, this is not a push to put yourself out there. If you're not ready, if you're not ready, you're not ready that's also okay that at least you energetically know where you're at in terms of like what you're willing to put out and and this may take a little some of you may want to sit in this hermit energy for some more time but at least you know what you're working with right so here we are this blockage what are the blockages here for aries mindful practice inner peace and the only way for us to trust our discernment is because we have found that inner peace once the inner peace is trusted then no one can shake us right four of swords you spent a lot of time resting um you spent a lot of time recovering and that's why the wheel of fortune is here because it's like recognize how much you've spent recognize what you've done um, and again, if still, if you're, if some of you feel like the spending some more, more time to practice more inner peace is important, then, then do so, do that. Um, but I really feel a lot of you are, um, ready. All right. What is the guidance for Aries? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> action, 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 make it happen and take the opportunity that has presented itself to you. The time is now. So it is time to open. A lot of you, is, it is time to open yourself, right? And just go for it. You know, go for your life you want. Go for the things you want. Um, let's see what more guidance. You know, be optimistic. Have that fool's approach. Taking the leaps to the unknown. And knowing and doing it with confidence, right? Yeah, synchronicities. 11 11. Some of you have definitely been seeing synchronicities. We also have 333 three, three here, 555. Five, five. Um, but the synchronizations you're experiencing is, is the universe letting you know you're aligning to your true path. So, again, the wheel of fortune's here, the world. There's a lot, the fool. So, all these big turning leaf. Um, cards are on the table here meaning you're ready the, you know you're aligning more to you and when you feel it you'll know you'll know Aries um, you just have to trust your ability to discern that and that's really what I'm getting from this read here Aries so um, I'm going to leave it there Aries I love you please like share subscribe